And while research shows that more people are leaving their homes now, public health officials say they're concerned about new outbreaks as more states begin to lift restrictions. Local restaurants are anxiously waiting to reopen their dining rooms, but it's still unclear exactly when and how that will happen. So 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is live tonight in Roanoke. She's been looking at that question. Lindsay, how are restaurants in our area now preparing, especially we've got the meat supply shortages and, and some other problems as well? There are a lot of unknowns about the regulations restaurants will have to follow. What they do know is things will look a lot different. The kitchen's open, but chairs are still stacked at Rocky Mount Burger Company at least for now. With that possible May 15th reopening date right around the corner, owner Brian Hochstein is chomping at the bit to get customers back inside. He's redoing the floors, putting in new chairs, and adding touchless paper towel and hand sanitizer dispensers. Uh, we've always had a clean kitchen, but we're adding a little more. We're just gonna be a little more vigilant and keep it going. Mission Barbecue in Roanoke is creating its own plan, according to Director of Operations, David Clark. Hand washing logs deep cleaning the restaurant, sanitizing the restaurant three and four times a day, going to social distancing while people are waiting in the restaurant. There are questions and concerns over what that reopening will look like. Other restaurants in Roanoke tell 10 News it'll be tough getting the cleaning supplies they need, managing takeout, curbside, and dine-in customers with limited staff. And a nationwide meat shortage is on the horizon. Meat production is down 25% due to coronavirus outbreaks at plants across the U.S. It's becoming more of a commodity. Uh, prices have gone up pretty uh, substantially in the like 50% range. But at the same, uh, if we need to adjust and change, we can do that. If there's no more beef, we might have to bring back fried shrimp. Still, these restaurants are ready to reopen. We would love to get back to seeing our customers in the restaurant. We are ready. The servers are ready. The kitchen's ready. Let it bring it on. They don't know exactly what those regulations will be. They are expecting uh, more specific guidelines from the governor very soon. Those restaurant owners do tell me they're ready to adapt and adjust to make sure that all their customers and staff stay healthy, stay safe, and are fed. Reporting live in Roanoke, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News working for you.